Hey everyone, Tobin Doobie here. So good to see all of you, and what an amazing Spirit Week. Ten videos, ten days, and I think some of them were actually pretty good. I still think our executives might be a little bit confused about the number of days that constitutes a week, but it was truly a delight making those ten videos and seeing all of your feedback here in this community that we are building. I'll have another Five Cannons video coming next week, but for now, I want to talk to you about something that I failed at. So last Thursday was Wacky Tacky Day in CC Spirit Week, and I had the best idea ever. Today is Wacky Tacky Day. I was gonna go around the office in my green screen suit, pranking people, sneaking up behind people, waiting on their desk when they come back. Whoa. Just perch in strange places around the office, and we'd just film the whole thing and capture all the hilarious reactions. It did not go as planned. A whole bunch of people left early because of the hurricane weather, so there were fewer people to prank. I ended up waiting for 10 minutes in a boardroom for a meeting that had apparently been canceled. And the one time somebody did come to where I was hiding, circumstances just didn't line up the right way and we didn't get a reaction on camera. It was disappointing all around. I felt sad. I felt angry. I started blaming people internally for the way things had gone. I even started letting that anger blow up over milder problems that had already been solved earlier in the day. Mostly, I wanted to give up on the video and go home. When you're trying to bring something into the world that you've put yourself into, and you have a clear picture of everything it could be, it becomes like a part of you. And when, for whatever reason, that thing becomes no longer possible and that thing dies, you experience a little bit of death. It's easy to believe failure is not a learning opportunity, but instead just a waste of time. John Dewey, a father of modern American education, coined the phrase miseducative experiences in his book Experience and Education. He said, any experience is miseducative that has the effect of arresting or distorting the growth of further experience. But as classical Christian educators, we see things differently. In fact, experience alone can't distort growth. You choose how to react to every experience as a human being. In fact, any experience can educate you, make you a better person. And I'm not saying failure is important because it makes you better at coping with failure. I hate that. That's a circular mindset and an unsatisfactory answer for someone who's suffering failure. Failure is painful, and if you try to deny that, you become part of that pain. But in the midst of a failure, you need to recognize that failure is just part of a larger category called accident. There are happy accidents and painful accidents. Don't stop thinking of failure as failure. Just realize that neither kind of accident is bad. Any unplanned experience can expand your mind and teach you flexibility. It can teach you, at the very least, that there are other things to learn and accomplish than what you set out to learn and accomplish. Which is how you should be viewing your existence always. And as hard as that is to remember when you're failing, it's even harder to remember when you're succeeding. So be grateful, not for the failure, but for any reminder that this moment has more to offer than you saw at first. In the end, it was an okay day. Well, it was a terrible day. But we talked through it as a team, got ourselves to the point where it was a good story. Remember that time when we planned all those pranks and none of them worked? Did you mean 10 minutes ago? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and in the end, I did give up on that video, and I did go home, but not before I'd learned some valuable takeaways. Whole team had some insights into how we could design better prank videos now that we understood the unpredictability of people a little better. We shared some laughs, and we actually came up with a video idea for the next day. In closing, we did put a video out that day. Sean and Chris put it together later while I was writing this one. And I learned that what you learn by accident can be as valuable or more than what you set out to learn. Be open to the accidental. Find what you can learn in any situation. This whole debacle showed me that encouragement type videos are a thing CC can be doing. There's always another chance because I will be doing that Green Man prank at some future time. And don't let anyone discourage you from trying again especially yourself. Hi! What? <laughs> this is 
soon as they said, no, 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 no. You guys, we're gonna try again? No, we're I don't know what you're talking about. We're gonna try at least five more times. Get away. <laughs>